Hello and welcome back to Predator Concrete Jungle and in this episode I think we're probably going to be able to do uh, maybe three levels. I'm thinking maybe three levels. Check the description by the way for all the timestamps if you want to skip to a particular mission. Skin trade is going to be the first one we'll focus on. This is, I think this is a pretty easy one but I could be could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure the Machine Men is a boss level and Sink the Shipment is I think one of my favorite levels in the entire game. I could be wrong about that as well because it's been a long long time since I've played this game obviously but anyway. Skin Trade. Madre de Dios. This is bad. Very bad. I need to talk to the boss. Ah, Mistress Lucretia. You look radiant, as always. Oh, please, don't waste my time with that crap. I call you when I need you, not the other way around. So this had better be good. Ah, uh, okay, well, I took over the dead man's drug business like you told me to, but there's been a little um, complication. They say on the news, some kind of vigilante, but on the street, they say that- I don't live on your shitty little streets, Hongo. That's what I pay people like you for. Whatever problem you have, you sort it out. You wouldn't be hard to replace, Hongo. The projects and barrios are full of scum who'd murder their own families for a chance at your business. You understand me? See, si, Mistress Lucretia. <laughs> Bitch. Okay, I can do this. No problem. Time to make some money. All right, so our first port of call is following El Hongo. Now, I, as far as I am aware, he's going to be in a car. Um, because that's the thing, the uh, the way that I remember this is we follow him around. This is his car right here, I believe. As you can see from the map, the red icon is his car, and uh, this is going to be not not that difficult to do. I think I can actually come out of stealth. I think I can save a little bit of energy by just running along the side here. I have to be very careful not to get seen. Obviously, I mean that's that's like, you know, that's a pretty obvious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty obvious stipulation, but I need to be very, very up. Oh. Need to be, yeah. As I say, I need to be very careful about being seen in general because uh, I think that could possibly fail it. But as soon as he gets to his destination, then we're going to get our real objective, and this is his destination, I believe. What the fuck is this sound hearing? Eh? You holding out on me? I'm telling you, man. You fuck with me. They'll be calling pieces of you out of the fucking bay. Yo, it's not my fault, boss. Honest. Look, come on inside. Get a drink, get you some pussy. Whatever you want, it's on me. We can work this out. All right, so now we're going to be hunting down the Matador Pimps. That is our first objective. And I believe there is also, yep, as you can see, there's actually a bonus objective as well. The bonus objective is to actually kill the uh, the working girls as well as far as I'm aware so that's exactly what we're gonna do right here this is one of them and you've got to be a bit careful about doing this as well because there are a number of ways that you can identify them but you have to be careful because obviously you don't want to kill a civilian because that's a dishonorable kill so we just want to make sure that we complete this bonus objective before completing the uh, the main one, because if you complete the main one, uh, as far as I am aware, it is just going to end the level. That it, that will that that's it, that's uh, a thing that I seem to remember. I don't think there's any any kind of weapon upgrade or anything like that around here. But the easiest way that you can identify whether there's a person that you actually need to kill is literally just by locking onto them. Locking onto them is going to give you that red outline in comparison to giving you a green outline. And a green outline will mean a civilian. So obviously you do not want to kill those guys. So <laughs> that's um, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. And these are these are the fellows here. There's going to be another, uh, another couple of pimps, I believe, over here. I'm just trying to complete the secondary objective first. This is going to be pretty simple as long as we can just get the... Get the working girls out of the way. And there's another pimp right here, I believe. Uh, maybe I can do a nice little... Oh, never mind. Apparently, I didn't need to do that. Is that... Is that not, that's not a pimp? Are you serious? Oh, okay. Apparently, that wasn't a pimp. Okay, that there's one. There's our first one. Can we get a second one? Yep, there's the second one. 
It seems like they're all in purple suits. I actually didn't realize that they were all in purple suits. I actually thought that they would be, you know, dressed in white as well. And I think it was just their their outfit that actually made a difference. Oh, there we go. Yes, indeed. It is, it is just their outfit that makes a difference. So we can basically just kill four out of seven already. There's another working girl right there. So we can actually make it a little bit easier. A little bit easier for us. There we go. There's five out of eight. Now, I, I think that they purposefully actually place these um, these optional objectives uh, far enough away from each other so that it actually makes things a bit difficult. Because what I found, at least what I remember at least, about running around is they're, they're only in specified locations and if you just run around the entirety of the map you're eventually going to be able to find them all. So that's the strategy that I've hopefully employed well enough so far and I haven't missed anyone because if I've missed people then obviously that's pretty awful. There is a climbing place here that is wonderful and bear in mind I'm not actually entirely sure what we're going to be getting for this bonus objective. I seem to remember it's nothing amazing. I think it is an increase in uh, increase in grenades or something like that. I'm actually not entirely sure but Whatever the case, uh, the more that we can get dead, the better. And I'm just going to run around here. Uh, yeah, these, these are these are pretty difficult to locate. There's the bonus mission hint that will tell you what, what you need to do. And they actually recommend using Neuroscan. For me personally, I actually don't like using Neuroscan. I think it is a bit clunky the way that it works because it actually... Um, at least what I remember, that is, obviously. I remember that Neuroscan makes it so that you are kind of limited in your vision and you only have these things marked on your map and it's a bit... As I say, it's a bit clunky with how it works and I didn't really want to have that on the screen for an extended period of time. So what you basically do is as as it was demonstrated way 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 back when we first started playing the game and we got neurovision um you know access we basically just made it so that um you could scan someone and then you would have that particular gang affiliation on your screen but only and this is this is the big caveat right here only if you have neurovision active if you do not have Neurovision active, then you are not going to see the markers, which in my opinion is a huge flaw in the whole thing, which of course is the uh, is one of the sort of clunkier mechanics in the game. And that's something that I really did not want to put you through and put myself through because it is a bit glary, you know. There you go. There's the bandolier. Okay, bandolier upgrade. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Now we can actually kill this guy and we're done. That's it. That's the uh, that's the end of this uh, this mission as far as I'm aware. Don't think there's anything else. It is haunting me. El diablo que hace los trofeos de hombres. I got to get somewhere safe. And there you have it. Yeah, that, that was a very quick and very simple level. And generally, I think most of the levels can be like that. It very much varies, I think, because there are many levels where I would literally just spend 20, 30 minutes just running around. I remember this very, um, very clearly because the sink the shipment, the, the level that is actually coming up in this episode, that is going to be really, really fun, in my opinion. I mean, you can technically make it fun if you don't want to continue with the, with the story and, and, and you, want to, you, you, know, you just want to kill everything in the area, basically. That's the thing that you can do. But obviously, it's very much your own choice. If you want to go for the objective, then you can go for the objective and you can get it done in, I don't know, 10 minutes probably. I don't know, 15 maybe. Um, but I, for me personally, back then, I was just having a whale of a time wandering around this really, really large level and executing people and, and uh, stealthing around and just having a, a fun time, you know? Anyway, the machine men, probably going to be a boss fight. Mr. 
Mistress Lucretia. It's me, Elongo. I can see that, you fucking moron. What do you want? What is it this time? The gang bosses. Everybody. Ay, madre. They found them hanging. Hanging on hooks like animals. El demonio invisible killed them all. And now he wants me. Mistress, I'm begging for your help. Please, God, in my time of greatest need. El demonio invisible. In the name of screaming shit. I don't have time for these ignorant ghost stories. Someone is screwing with my business. Is that what you're telling me? There's nobody left alive on the streets to do your business, mistress. In the name of God, once again, I beg you! You want me to send the Russians, is that it? I have people here who view murder, torture, and rape. Not as crimes, but as Olympic challenges. Is your problem really important enough to set the machine men loose on it? Mistress, I need what help you got. My matadores are leaving the city like rats. It's El Demonio. No demon you'll ever meet is scarier than me, Hongo. I'll help you out. But I won't forget you owe me. Thank you. You hear that drivel, Victor, darling? Get your men down to New Way Field. Find out who's cutting into my action and cut them out. Like a sick bowel. Without anesthetic, Victor. Understand? Yes, they will not pay. All right, so here we go, defeat the machine men. So the best thing that I had actually found way back in regards to more technologically advanced bosses, because obviously machine men, you can kind of assume that they are cyborg-ish. The best way that you can deal with those is dealing with them with the plasma caster. Uh, that's what I have found at least way back. Um, and and they don't even, uh, basically it doesn't really matter about, uh, oh look, here's an upgrade. Oh, that, that, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I seem to remember that there was a, a wrist plate upgrade here anyway, or some kind of upgrade around the side. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're literally just going to blast them. We're just going to blast them. There we go, boom, there we go. That's it. That We've done a, a significant amount of damage to each of them, and that's pretty much all I wanted to do. And now we just need to do massive damage with our wonderful wrist blades upgrade, because here's the thing. If I actually scan around the place, you can see on the map, there are no little electrical signatures. In other words, I have no way to replenish my energy. The only thing that you really need to worry about in fighting these guys is their energy discharge weapons themselves. So basically they, they come equipped with kind of like plasma casters, I guess. They kind of have like a rudimentary version of the plasma caster, I suppose. And uh, generally the best way you can ta take them down is just by wading in here, dealing damage to all of them, and just trying to maximize your damage output in every single way. And using the glaive, not sure if I really like the glaive that much. I seem to remember that there's actually another weapon that you can unlock that I think I might like more. But you can see here, it doesn't really do that much in comparison to the wrist blades. Now that I've got that extra upgrade, it really makes a big difference. You know, that new wrist blade upgrade, the damage that I'm able to do is just so much more. Anyway, I'm just gonna heal myself real fast. These guys are literally kind of a bit, um, they're a bit silly because they basically just allowed me to heal myself. And who am I? I mean, I'm just the guy that's going to murder them. So it's probably, you know, not the best idea for them to let me heal. But, you know, they're not going to jump down. That's the thing. They're not going to jump down. So you kind of have an opportunity to run away, heal yourself, do whatever you need to do. There's even extra healing charges on the on the ground over there, for example. Victor, is that... Oh, it's you again. I specifically instructed Victor the Chechen and his crew to take care of things. Why haven't they called in? They are all dead! What? The machine men? My lovely Victor? El demonio invisible. He is real, like I said. He comes out of nowhere and cooks men alive with his eyes. He tears the skulls from the shoulders and, and strips the skins of the bodies like coats. Fuck. Just when I thought I could walk away from this fucking city. Mistress Lucretia, you got to get me out of here. I've helped make you a lot of big money. I'm a good guy for you. You gotta help me, mistress. Enough. I only like to hear strong men beg, Hongo. Lucky for you, there is a way out. Get your pathetic ass down to the old docks. There's a black market trading depot there. You know the one. It's run by the working girls. Ex-porn star hookers, right? 
This could be turning into the greatest night of my life. They work for me now, Hongo. So just ask for Baby Blue when you get there. Now, there's a big shipment of black market Prometheus weapons going out tonight, and security is laced up tight. I can guarantee you'll be safe down there. But this is your last chance to do right. Understand? It really looks like we may be giving Lucretia a little pause for thought, or should we say food for thought, maybe. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to just take a quick look, make sure that we got everything. Yeah, took us 2 minutes 28. I mean, really, yeah, these, these boss fights, some of them really are not going to take that long at all. And generally, and this is, again, a, a case for like a remake, remaster, or whatever, you could easily put these bosses in the actual level. You could just have them spawn in the actual level and then you could fight them there. Obviously, that is making things a bit too easy for you, possibly, because you can just jump onto a rooftop, you can run away, you can do whatever you need to do to try and survive and so on and so forth. So maybe it's not even the best idea for that to even happen, but I, I don't know. Maybe you can give, I don't know, maybe the, the, the developers can give the machine men in this case ways to get onto rooftops so that they can pursue you and, and so on and so forth but whatever the case anyway this is my favorite level or at least i think it is my favorite level i seem to remember this quite vividly sink the shipment mistress lucretia sent me you don't look like you can afford my time honey looks can be deceptive baby I got money, dollars, all you want. But I only got to speak to Baby Blue. Ooh, Baby Blue. You're a guy who knows what you like, ain't ya? See, si. tell her I got all her movies back home. Plus, I know all about the special weapons she meant. Well, that's different, honey. You come with me, let me show you the extra special deal in this package. The Prometheus technology had uses beyond simply making the firearms of the future. Stealth suits, optical camouflage, smart weapons, medical systems, all these and more had been retro-engineered and marketed by Bourget Industries. They made as much money from the black market on these goods as they ever did from legitimate trade. And of course they held back a few countermeasures for their own use, to maintain that competitive edge. All right, so apart from the narrator just giving us that wonderful little exposition on Borgia Industries, I just grabbed the health upgrade really, really fast here because, as I say, this was my favorite level. I remember this now pretty, pretty well, and I love this. I think that this is a glimpse into what could have been in a open world kind of venue. So, for example, if they had made this today, or in the last few years or something like that, the open world would have just been amazing. I mean, just just look at this. This is not even the full level, by the way. There's a, not another section that is, uh, you know, all the way over there, and it's just... It's, it's very expansive, let's just say that. And there are so many different ways that you can approach this. It's so incredibly nice. Now, bear in mind, I'm actually going ahead and just doing the optional objective first. I've actually found that I think that... It, well, at least in the past, that I, I, I think that that's... Oh, no. Did I really just... <laughs> oh, I, I was just completely messed up with my buttons right there. Anyway, I found that uh, generally doing it this way is better. At least I found that a long time ago that it was better to do it this way. And you can pretty much just eliminate who you want, when you want, and you don't have to worry about anyone attacking you or seeing you, because let's face it, you don't have cloaking. I cannot cloak at the moment because of that jamming signal, you see? So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue eliminating enemies. We don't have to worry about them at all. That's the reason why they give you so many of these spear gun uh, pieces of ammunition. It's really, really nice and simple. And there we have it. And we also have... Yep, there we go. I think this is my favorite weapon, actually. I think this is my favorite secondary weapon. And uh, we got it. So I'm really, really happy about that. And we also have this. 
This is the main reason why you would be coming over here. The main reason why you come over here is the pulse mines. You need these, right? You need these because this is going to be used to disable, I believe it was the security grid. So it basically takes down all of the cameras and everything. And basically what I need to do now is I need to jump back up here, go back, try to scan where, where El Hongo is. And bear in mind, there are patrols all over the place here as well. I mean, you can see that right there. There's a couple of people there. There's a camera or two or three or 10 billion. You know, there's a lot of them. And there, <laughs> there he is all the way over there. Boom. Okay. My girls tell me you are asking about me. What makes you think you're worth my time? I can't believe I'm really talking to baby Luke. This is fucking awesome! That's it, see, anyway, what it is, Lucrecia sent me. She said you got guards all over this place for her and special shit. I'd be safe here. You gotta help me, eh? El Diablo himself is hunting me. What he did to my men, you wouldn't believe. Yeah, I don't know. Don't worry. Lucrecia sent you to the right place. Just relax. All right, so this is obviously one of the very, very time-based things that we are going to need to do. So obviously because, oh wow, that was actually really, really bad. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, now I'm a little bit up against the time limit. So yeah, because that person, right, is walking towards the generator room. And what I need to do is I need to get there first. So I'm trying to get there right now. Look, there she is right there. You can see her. And I'm just going to try and get to the other side of this rooftop. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to do that. There we go. We made it just in time, I think. Yeah, we are We are just within uh, just within the time limit. And we need a password from her. I remember this very, very well. And here we go. Open wide and say, ah. All right, so yeah, open wide and say ah is exactly the um, is, is the password. I mean, really, come on now. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's do this. Open wide and say ah. All right, now those are obviously heavily armed soldiers with fully automatic weapons. We really do not want to uh, engage them in a fight at the moment. So what instead we're going to do is we're going to sneak in just behind them like so. And we'll just take this this one out right here. Boom. All right, that was easy enough, wasn't it? And now what we can do is we can just use our mines on the... Oh, what? Are you serious? One of them went off, but the other one didn't. Okay, that, that's a bit weird. With the security systems offline, the intruder was free to roam at will throughout the hunting ground. Ahead lay Lucretia's shipment of Prometheus technology, a cargo hold full of weaponry, equipment, and power cells, in a volatile mix just waiting for an accident to happen. Indeed, indeed. Just waiting for an accident to happen. You heard the narrator. You know exactly what's going to happen now. I have 130 energy. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to do this, but let's try it out. Because now here's the thing. You can approach this again from any way you like. So for me personally, I, uh, back in the day, would just kill everyone. I would kill everyone that I could get my hands on because I found that amusing and fun. And generally, yeah, I, I think that's actually a, a pretty, you know, legitimate thing. But do you see how large this level is? You see what I'm talking about? It's pretty amazing. Love to see this be an actual, um, you know current gen game that would be really really fun but uh yeah anyway uh we're just gonna go up here and we're just going to take her out real fast actually apparently not I'm gonna grab her instead and just slam her against the wall there we go and there we have it okay bear in mind i still cannot get seen that is one thing that we really do not want to do so that would, uh, I think, probably fail the mission. I seem to remember that um, in the first part, at least, if you got seen, that would be a game over straight away. That would be a game over. So 
that's uh, that's a little bit uh, a little bit problematic got to say that but yeah anyway let's just jump down here we're gonna have to find these power cells and the power cells they're pretty easy to deal with you pretty much just hit them like so and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run because I remember yep there is a time limit on getting out of the cargo hold before it all explodes and thankfully I am uh, I'm pretty practiced at this because in general as I say I remember this like like it was yesterday basically and uh, yeah we know exactly where we need to go next Too bad. I was starting to enjoy that as much as you were. It's something just shorted out my goddamn chameleon suit. Electromagnetic pulse blew out all the tech. And it's here. El demonio. It's gonna kill us all. And I didn't even get to come. Cloaking is down. Electrics are down. We can't project our illusions anymore. Shit, there's something out there. All right, and I don't have any more energy. That is one thing that I actually forgot to do. There is something you can do um, if you are better at this than I am. You can deactivate your cloak before the cutscene because the amusing thing is when you go into a cutscene, if you're in cloak, it still drains your energy. I know, yeah, I know. It's a bit of a stupid mechanic, but that, that's apparently what it does. I uh, did not remember that until now, apparently. So yes, anyway. There we go. So, yeah, it's easy enough, though, because I can basically just get over here, and there is a charging point in this room that we saw earlier. And then I can just go over to where El Hongo is, and he's going to be very, very pleased to see us. Uh, you, know, you, you don't see me. You don't see me. Goodbye. And, uh, yeah, then we're, we're basically done. We're basically done with this particular level. But you see what I mean about how large this level actually is? It's pretty big. For this era... I think this is pretty large. Probably one of the largest that we've seen. Can I just shoot him? waiting in war zones all around the world, you moron! I have a reputation! I don't know, someone, uh, something got on board the ship and I don't know how it killed so many people. What bastard thinks he can fuck with me like this? I want his head in a box! And as for you, Baby Blue, you lost my shipment. So for that, you're gonna lose an eye. And both of your hands. But it wasn't my fault. Get those drone trucks back to the depot now. Maybe I can salvage something from this fucking mess. Nobody fucks with me. Nobody! And there we have it. That is indeed my favorite level in this whole game. And you can probably see why. I mean, really, it's fantastic. It has everything. It has a bonus task that is actually, as far as I can remember, it is time limited. Because at the moment, they're, what they're doing at that particular checkpoint is they're processing prisoners of the, uh, of, of, of the, of the corporation, of Borgia Industries as far as I'm aware, from other places. So, for example, gang leaders, 
and uh, you know criminals from other places and so on and they're processing them so that they can go elsewhere and and maybe do something in their in their organization or to be executed or whatever they tend to do and um, from what I remember they don't last for example that person that I killed at the very start to get the health upgrade that is limited so that guy is not there all the time and he disappears if you don't get there in a uh, timely fashion but anyway one of the lowest amounts of honorable kills that I gained in this level but I just have I, I absolutely love this level I really really do it's just amazing there's so much to do in it you get a, an upgrade for your for your weapon in general you get a maul you know the new new maul and you get health anytime you can get an, get a health upgrade it's just a good day isn't it yeah anyway no costume there unfortunately but raise the depot is the next level i'm not entirely sure what that's all about but we're going to be doing that in the next episode i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time